Hi YouTube, I've got a book review for you today. The book I recently finished is called Matched by Ali Condi and it's um, young adult fiction, it's science fiction, dystopian literature I would say and I really enjoyed it. It was actually better than I expected. I had high hopes for it and it definitely met my expectations. It's about a girl named Cassia and she lives in this world where everything is sort of controlled by the government or I guess they call it the society. Everything is controlled by the society where you go to school, where you go to work, what you do for fun, when you die, where you live, who you, um, who you marry. At the beginning of the book she is matched and in the matching, the matching is basically where um, your partner is chosen for you. It's like an arranged marriage but your parents don't arrange it, the society does. So Cassia finds out that she's matched with actually her best friend, Xander, which is sort of an improbability because usually you're matched with someone who lives far away from you in another province, but she happens to get matched with her best friend. And so she's really happy because it's a life she never thought she'd get to have with her best friend. But when she checks the data card that she's given about Xander, Instead of seeing his face, she sees the face of another boy she knows from her neighborhood who will never be matched with anyone because he's been cited with aberration status. Because she sees his face on the screen instead of Xander, she starts to get really curious about why that happens because in the society, mistakes simply aren't made. And so it sort of sets her off on this sort of mystery about, um, things that she's never questioned before about the way things are done, such as her grandfather dying on his 80th birthday, and everyone dies on their 80th birthday because that's when the society has decided that they are no longer useful, and it's just an accepted fact that when you're 80 years old, you die. But things like that start to be not okay with Cassia because she starts to question sort of why it's like that. Stuff that was never weird to Cassia simply becomes worthy of investigation. And all this time, she sort of develops a relationship with um, Kai, this other boy that she saw flashed up on the screen. Together, they sort of start to question things in their society. I also was really impressed by the prose in this book. It's a first-person narrative, and I was kind of like, okay, it's kind of uninspired, but it sort of develops along with the character. Her voice develops as she sort of discovers new things. So she she starts out as kind of this simple-minded, and you're you're kind of wondering, hmm, am I gonna like this book? She doesn't seem like she has a really strong voice, but her voice gets stronger and stronger as she sort of discovers things that are wrong with the society she's living in. And it was just really gorgeous, and I really enjoyed it. And um, this book comes out November thirtieth, so. I would definitely encourage you to check it out, especially if you're into dystopian literature. It was highly enjoyable. I just want to say that I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a lot of book reviews in November because I'm going to be participating in NaNoWriMo or National Novel Writing Month. And so I'm going to be writing throughout a lot of November and also I'm in a literature class at school that is having me read a lot of books for school. So I will try to see you as soon as I can with another review. In the meantime, I'll be reading My Antonia for English. I probably won't review that because this book has been around for ages, but I have to read this now instead of more fun teen fiction, but I'll see you later.